Hello, what's up, peeps? This is the Geek God is back again with another video, and this week we're gonna be doing something fun, something different. We're gonna take a generic outdoor photo and turn it into an alien environment from an alien planet. So we're gonna be turning this into this. Huh? You're gonna have to watch the video till the end to find out. So let's do this. So here's the image. Now, first up, I'm gonna duplicate it and then adjust the levels. I'm gonna try to take out most of the saturation and light out of it. And make it pretty dark so that it resembles more of a evening time rather than a bright daytime photo once i'm happy with that i'm gonna adjust the colors i'm gonna try to shift the colors towards blue i'm gonna try to make it just a little bit darker and then i'm gonna try to introduce an unnatural color so something like pink would do the job and take a new layer set it to color blending mode and paint the pink color near the horizon okay i'm gonna adjust the opacity bring it down a bit next i'm gonna select the entire sky area from the original photo and flip the selection using the shortcut Control shift i and then erase it next i'm gonna take a new layer and paint some light Paint some haze on the mountains near the horizon so that uh, they look like they've been pushed further back in depth. Now I think I want to add a bit more blue to the scene overall. So I'm going to take a new layer, fill it with blue and set it to overlay blending mode. So I'm bringing down the opacity a bit and changing the saturation so that it's not too bright. But yeah, I more or less have the blues in now in certain places from where the blue was missing. Okay, so so this is where the fun begins. Till now we were making changes to the environment in terms of colors and lights. Now we're gonna manipulate it in terms of shape. We're gonna change the shapes of the rocks to resemble something more of a different world with its own set of physics and laws. So I'm picking the colors directly from the rock and extending it, exaggerating it. Try to make the, the rock formations more pointy to give a sci-fi sort of a feel while i'm extending the rocks i'm trying to maintain the shape of rocks and the cracks so this is how it looks with and without the new modification do the same with the rocks in the background okay so that looks good so what else can we do to make it look more alien the planet might look cool so i'm gonna try to draw a planet as visible as you can see um using the selection tool to make a circular selection and yeah and adding some highlights to give it a feel that there is a huge planet out there very close to this planet and i feel like we can use another smaller planet like a moon maybe with a different shade this time i'm gonna make it slightly bigger and then i'm gonna erase portions from the darker side so that only the highlight area is visible because it's a it's a planet that's pretty far away okay so now i'm gonna pick darker shade from existing rocks and paint a completely new rock on the left side that's a bit closer than the other rocks so it's gonna have darker values i'm processing the colors and i'm picking the colors directly off of the existing rocks that we just painted or modified Maybe a smaller rock just to break from the monotonous shapes. Next thing is I'm going to be adding some highlights on these rocks. More like a, a specular reflection off of something, maybe a sun or some kind of alien light source that exists off screen on the left. So I'm not going to light the rocks evenly, just a portion of it. Same for the one in the background and a bit of it on the rock in the front as well. Now finally I'm gonna add some brighter highlights. Okay so that's how it looks with the new mod. Now for the background mountains near the horizon I'm gonna try to add some depth there. Maybe some fog so, and I'm gonna do it in hard light blending mode create a better depth 
I'm gonna take a new layer, set it to hard light, and paint some light blue to push the rocks further back in depth and paint some environmental haze and fog in general so that we have a better and more clearer environmental perspective. I'm gonna make the highlights on the background rocks a little lighter because I don't want the, the, the highlights to be evenly lit, spread all around. So I don't want those background rocks to draw too much attention. Now what's missing is a foreground because the front right area looks a bit empty. So an interesting shape will look great over there. So I'm going to use a darker tone and create some contrast over there. So I'm trying to draw some weird curvy alien roots or some sort of formation. I don't even know. But what it is but yeah it's something maybe some some vines or uh, mosses hanging from it little highlights and then we we'll add some Gaussian blur to it to take it off focus I don't want it to be too sharp or draw attention make it a little dark and yeah I think I'm almost happy with that good amount of contrast then I'm gonna paint some highlights on these plants that have already existed in our original photo. Maybe it's not a completely barren planet with just rocks. It can have vegetation and life in it. What else can we do? Huh? Well, we can try to play with the grasses in the mid-ground. So I'm going to pick the color of these grasses and sort of paint some long, long grasses extruding from the ground. And then maybe I'm gonna try to draw some flowers and draw some smaller ones in the background and on the tip of these long grasses and draw some flower like shapes simple strokes that's all and maybe these can glow so I'm gonna add some avatar like bright neon lights cool maybe a few on the ground few smaller clusters in the background great now it's time to give them some glow so I'm gonna take a new layer set it to overlay blending mode and with a bright blue color I'm gonna paint the glow I'm gonna paint some light on the ground as well and now I'm gonna add just a bit of a vignette effect to sort of focus our attention and pull it away from the foreground I'm trying to experiment a bit with uh, what we can do to add a bit more depth in the rocks that looks alright I'm gonna try to see if I can adjust the levels to make it a bit more vibrant yeah so I made it a bit darker and let's see if uh, a change in colors can look good for this I push them a bit towards the blues I and mean, I'm doing all of these with uh, adjustment layers so that I can uh, switch them off anytime or increase or decrease opacity some color lookups and so yeah that's how it looks with and without so finally once I'm satisfied with I'm gonna add some a bit of chromatic aberration effect and then I'm gonna add some noise so that's it so here's a quick before and after comparison this is where we started and this is where we have now so let me know in the comments what you think about the final output and if you'd like to see me do more of these uh, turn turn normal photos into sci-fi alien environments and stuff so let me know in the comments what do you think about that and I hope you enjoyed this video so don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications of my upcoming videos and that's it for now see you on the next one peace